You're enchained by your own sorrow In your eyes There is no hope for tomorrow How I hate to see you like this There is no way you can deny So this is music from ABBA ABBA, and um, they call this one Chikitita, um, one of um, a, an oldie, but a goodie, like they, they say. All right. So this is Love Night and Up at Five. It's um, a Wednesday morning. It is the twenty third of August, twenty twenty three. Hope all is well with you wherever you find yourself. Good to have you be, uh, do the listening. So um, we want to hear from you. I mean, we want you to tell us your own story. Now, Ghana's inflation rose to a three-month high on soaring food prices, and um, after reaching a more than you know two-decade high of 54.1 percent in December, inflation had declined for four consecutive months until April, and I'm talking about April this year. However, uh, annual inflation accelerated to you know 42.5 percent in June up from 42.2% in May. And according to government statistician, Professor uh, Samuel Kwabena Enim, he says that um, food inflation, as we speak, as at the time he was speaking for July, you know, stood at 54.2%, surpassing the national average. And Professor um, Enim advised policymakers to critically examine the factors behind food inflation. So what are the factors? We'll find out soon when, um, you know, we speak to an economist. But listen, with food inflation at 54.2%, we're asking you this morning, how is it affecting your food purchases? Now, if, for example, you're listening to me and you're a wife, hmm? you're a wife, and you're giving chop money, I'm asking, has your chop money been increased? If not, how is it affecting you when you go to the market to do your purchases as food inflation is at 54.2%? Again, if you're a husband, have you increased the chop money for you know the house, for the home, such that when your woman or your wife goes to the market, she doesn't come back home complaining because food prices are high? What's your story? Again, aside from you know the chop money bit, how about feeding or eating you know, out there? Has the um, uh, food inflation that is hovering around 54.2% affected your eating habits? In what way has it affected it? So this morning, our conversation is the uh, food inflation. How is it affecting or impacting your pocket? Our WhatsApp number is 055 That's our WhatsApp number. It's 055 And um, if you join us on Facebook, there are some uh, uh, stories that we're sharing with you on Facebook relating to the same conversation we're having. Join us on Facebook. Get to appreciate the, the, the thoughts of people who have gone out there to eat. Get, join us on Facebook and also get to uh, hear from people who sell food. And how the food inflation is, you know, impacting on their businesses out there. It's all on Facebook on LUV 99.5 FM. If you join us there, drop comments as well. Let's reach out to those comments and, you know, share it with the rest of the world. I told you earlier about uh, Lou Stanley and what his, his decision, 
you know, has become when it comes to the uh, intake of oil, what, what oil he uses. I'll be telling you about that shortly because he's right here with, with me in the series of Love Nights and Up and Five. Meanwhile, egg yolk, hmm? the egg yolk. Some of you don't like eating the yolk of the egg. I don't know why. It contains vitamin A and other substances such as uh, lutein and zeaxanthin, which helps maintain the health of our eyes as we age. So don't throw the egg yolk away. Eat the egg, uh, the egg yolk, okay? Come to the Adjusa Municipal Assembly Conference Hall this Friday and the Jabbing Methodist Church on Saturday at 5 p.m. to learn all about eggs and enjoy free eggs. Remember to eat an egg every day. Like today, eat an egg and follow the campaign on Extra O, all right? It's good for you. Well, MTN is carrying multiple. MTN says carrying multiple phones around can be such a chore. Now they unsadly bulge in your pocket, the extra weights in your purse, the stress of switching from one phone to the other to pick calls, is 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 really problematic. Now imagine being able to switch between different numbers on the same phone easily and seamlessly. Guess what? You can go seamless with MTN eSIM. And enjoy the convenience of connecting multiple uh, phone numbers to one single phone or device. To check if your device is compatible, simply dial star hash zero six hash star hash zero six hash. Once you, you receive an EID and uh, number, it means your phone or device is compatible. Simply download MTN app today to request your MTN eSIM and enjoy the sweet seamless life everywhere you go. All right, so um, we, we have asked you this simple question because of our conversation here this morning. We're asking you, how are you coping out there? Food inflation is at 54.2%. Has it impacted your pocket in any way? I keep asking if you're, ha- if you're a wife, not a housewife, if you're a wife, has the chop money been increased? If you're a husband, have you increased the chop money of your wife? If you have not, is she, is she complaining? If you have, is she still, com- uh, still complaining? If your wife would go to the market, the chop money that you take to the market to buy stuff for the house, is it enough? For you to buy all that you need for the home, our WhatsApp number is 055 Well, KFC has dropped the prices. So question is, you don't have to drop, you know, your favorite. Are you dropping it? Don't drop your favorite meal at KFC. Enjoy the delicious sweet, sweet wise, uh, Streetwise 2 for only 39 Ghana cities at your nearest KFC restaurant. Limited time or limited goodness, KFC is indeed finger licking good. So why did you join us on Facebook and uh, uh, watch what Evans Mesa did when he stepped out there to engage with people who are selling uh, food outside? But when I announced the, or mentioned the topic for this morning, this is a message a gentleman sent in. Take a listen to what he sent to us. David, good morning. Let me say, and my man Kwanso, my study one time. Hey, Tina Mada, scan and so into me toshe into me baby via. Over there, they said last Friday, we decided they said that increment to be a ma or salary, and they are like a muntino. So, I come as you can and so Maybe if you for any negotiation, ye to me, I'm a bossy for you market on your market before you're on ambassador for senior. Say if you for magic, nobody no more scanning so she and to me touch a. Book money and asset buy it in bulk. Do this in mass and fat income levels. Call form and then you're my book one. Of course, you're a man day. And to me, they have my studies. They say my meek me if you're a juma. The poor me ban them side issues. Ni na yet to some kakra kakra na face so so eh eh yeah. I'm training me said the near and the last one. They say when you're mini be a no one is a not fast. What about the chef? And she said, I don't know. But so, what side you should be between a man come levels are cost on there. Other than that, I see in a brain once in your coffee in term. Ukufi in term, you don't sit out and you don't spend that much when you're outside. But um, that's what he's saying. So, his his issue is that, listen, initially he thought that, um, I'm sure he was referring to the wife when he says he feel for that when they go to the market, they are not able to negotiate very, very well. So, they come back home and they complain about the fact that the job money is not enough. So he, he says, well, he decided to go to town himself. I think he said well, last Friday or so. He went to the onion market around uh, Bufurukrum. He also went to a safari market. And then he realized that, listen, indeed, uh, if you for no, they are more than magicians. And yes, they are even more than magicians because the amount of money that they take to the market and the things that they're able to purchase and bring home, they do very, very well. Now, um, he, he, he went on to say, for example, that 
for the people who say you know buy in bulk buy in bulk it's just in the books and when when you mentioned that leo was excited about it <laughs> what, 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 what was your excitement with that bit uh, grandma yeah that's exactly what you said <laughs> 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 so we have an economist on the phone line and before we even engage with that uh, the economist we want to hear your own story food inflation is hovering around 54.2 percent all right that's 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 the figure right now 54.2 percent that's the inflation for food in ghana and we're asking you, how is this impacting your pocket? How is it impacting your pocket? Now, um, Evans Nunu is on the phone lines right now to help us understand what the situation is. Uh, so, Evans, good morning to you, and thanks very much for your time, sir. Uh, good morning. So, um, what what would you say are the factors that has culminated in food inflation getting to as high as 54.2%? Yes, so you would realize that over the period, and what I say over the period, even let's just have a look at the three month duration from May to July. You realize that that is what has been happening over the past one year to now. And it basically would have to do with some specific product within the food bracket. For example, cereals and cereal products. Then we, we have tea. And substitute. You know, tea brought a lot of issues in January. Then we have live animals and some parts of slaughtered animals. And these are always escalating, especially with a bit about tea and its substitute. So you realize that these are things we import a lot, the cereals and cereal products. And we used to do much from um, these Asian countries or some of these European and American countries import from there. And we also buy the finished product from there. So once they had issues, it's added to the problem we already had. Now, because we import from there, it means that most a part of the inflation we are seeing, food inflation we are seeing, would have to do with imported inflation. It isn't our fault. It is the case that the only fault we have is that we import a lot. And because they are experiencing escalating prices, we try. we also import them into our nation. Then it would also have to do with the related issue of uh, ever deteriorating exchange rate. Because if we have to import, then we may have to use dollars and other major currencies. And once these are deteriorated, the, the exchange rate is deteriorating. It would add to the prices uh, at which we, we buy. And that will, the burden will be on the final consumer. So that is also accountable for that. Then we have high input, input prices. The last time we were talking about how fertilizers are being um, exported illegally to nearby countries and some being used to manufacture uh, weapons. If you remember that conversation, we, we, we talk about bombs. They tell you to go for bombs uh, to be to be made out of them. <laughs> exactly. So um, high input costs um, because any time we have increasing PPI, that is producer price index, it has a reflection on the CPI. So uh, high cost of inputs would also be accountable for what we are seeing now. And then, obviously, some activities like galamse and uh, diversion of our human resources from um, agric-related occupations to some of these, you know, manufacturing, mining, and other services, uh, its related services. Because if you look at even the areas, let's not forget the fact that various regions have their own fit. So, if you look at Atlanta region, for example, we have been doing extremely well over the period because. Um, Asante region, Bota region, uh, Oti, um, Greater Accra, we have been doing so well. And I'm sure it's because um, um, Galamte has not been too much. Though Asante region, some portions have been seen um, Galamte, but we have several other parts that are, that, that are not seen the Galamte in its highest magnitude as compared to Western North and other areas. So, consistently, you will realize that Greater Accra, that is supposed to be experiencing food inflation, is not even one of those districts you would say have recorded high food inflation or generally have recorded higher inflation. And any time a region is, is um, experiencing lower inflation, it, it, the obvious indication is that food inflation has not been too much of a problem there as well. Because if you look at it, Greater Accra has done very well. And I also suspect that it is because some of these um, interior zones or uh, rural areas would want to export or bring in their their food stuff, their harvest to the capital cities and uh, you know the probably the second largest city, and so there is 
too much of it in the cities and to their to the to their own detriment to the detriment of those areas that even produce but obviously um importation extreme importation high input prices some activities you know like galamsey and others are responsible for the high food prices we are seeing now so um, i think the government would have to look at how best we can curtail extreme imports for example syria rice and millet and the like there was a, this conversation has always been up and we have had these conversations over the years so i don't know why we are so overly dependent on imports but but tell okay. me so we, you talk about we being overly dependent on imports now professor you know uh samuel uh enim who is the ghana's uh, statistician says um he advised uh, actually policy makers to critically examine the factors behind food inflation from where you sit what should be done what ought to be done for us to bring the food inflation figures down? Yes, so we may have to look at substitutes for these imports and attempt to help the farmers. We brought ADB, Agricultural Development Bank. I don't know what, what their quest and their mission has been over the period. Because, look, I thought that even the name suggests that they are supposed to help these farmers out. Now, already the private sector has been crowded out. Uh, we don't have funds to do businesses and to expand even the existing ones. And I'm sure farmers are heavily affected. So if we have to solve this problem, then the government would have to weigh, look at ways of engaging it in agriculture, either with uh, it going by going into partnership with the private sector or in creating that enabling environment. And when I say the government should create that enabling environment, I'm talking about you know making credit accessible to farmers and assigning expect to some specific, you know, farmers that are doing so well. For example, these agriculture officers could be assigned and, and employed by the government and give give them the government can give them transportation and other allowances to go to the areas where we have large plantations and they'll render some agric advice to the farmers we have. Since like, you are talking about Nunu, are there immediate immediate solutions or long term solutions? Immediate. This, it doesn't take much to do this thing. You remember even in the 2023 budget, we talked about economic enclave where uh, at Kumeu, we are going to have about 10,000 land, uh, acres of land for production. I mean... Uh, service people to, for the national service people to engage in, in farming, yes. Yes. So, I mean, like, these are not things we can always be dreaming about. We can we can easily do these things. And um, it doesn't take much. I mean, we are talking about our Greek. And so, any small way we can begin... I'm sure we can see transformation. Now, what happened to the, the, the rice plantations in the water region we always spoke about? So I think that it's a matter of policy direction. The government must have concrete and firm policy on agriculture. And that can also have effect on our quest to industrialize. Because if even the, the aggregate that is supposed to be basic, we are not doing so well, then how do we talk about industrialization? Because even if we set up the industries, a grape cannot feed it. You you know the case of uh, Commander Sugar Factory, and they talk about the fact that they were not even getting raw materials. It's because we ma- we are not paying much attention to a grape. And if our grape is that weak, then obviously our drive our quest for industrialization cannot be achieved. The issue of buying in bulk being better, how practical and realistic is it? Are you talking about the uh, at the at the macro level or micro? Because um, uh, buying bulk, I, I don't get it. As as, as the, the encouragement is for people in in homes to buy okay. stuff in bulk, as that is far better than buying you know going to the market every week buying bulk. And I'm asking, how practical is it? Because there are people who are of the view that shall a a book Yes, arguably that is supposed to be better because if, for example, you have to go to um, Edu or Kijetia to buy things. Every time, any time you want to buy something that is not around you. For example, most women travel to the Jane market, the onion market to buy onions. And if you have to use transport every time to go and do that, if you have the money and you have a way of preserving it, I mean, it's just better to buy in bulk. And there are several products, the higher you buy, the, 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 the lower the price. So it makes sense to buy in bulk. And that is an economic principle. We, we talk of uh, returns to scale and economies of scale and all of it. Um, so once you have the, the means to buy in bulk, 
it's better. But ask yourself, how many people would always have, have the, the money to buy in bulk? I mean, there are people who are managing. It's almost like um, their salary could only take them for the month. So even if their salaries do not drop for one month, they will borrow. And, and, you know, there are several workers, even in the public sector, that if you freeze their salaries for one month, they will have to borrow. It means that they don't have excess or any lump sum anywhere. So if you tell them to buy in bulk, they don't have what it takes to do that. So they will be buying in bits, and that is the only option they have. Remember, the salaries were increased just 30%, and now our inflation target is, is even 31%. For, for government workers, emphasis for, on government workers. Yes, but uh, David, it will surprise you to know that most of these private sector workers have their salaries tied to what happens in the public sector. So if the government increases salaries, they also get some increment. And uh, normally the private sector would want to watch how the public sector is behaving to also fix because they don't have any better standard. I mean, tell me, apart from the minimum wage, which is even very small, apart from the minimum wage, what standard is there for the private sector? There is no standard. So if I am a private employer and I want to increase salaries, I may look at what is happening at the public sector as a standard and probably a justification for increasing my, my worker's salary. So if we woke up in January and the government says that it's going to increase public sector salaries by 40 percent then i have every reason to also say that i'm going to do it either let's say 45 percent or below and my justification would be that that has been the conversation public sector workers have their salaries increase increase to that margin and so david whether we like it or not what happens in the public sector affects the the private sector mm -hmm. and, and and so if the salary increment has been 30 percent then we are now targeting an inflation of um, 31 percent remember in most cases we don't achieve that it means that it, we are indirectly saying that we are going to, we are expecting that uh, by the end of the year, inflation should be around 40, 38 percent. And that is what we are seeing. And so it's pathetic that this is happening. But people do not have what it takes to, to buy in bulk. I hear you, Evans. Thanks very much for your time, sir. And um, as we still have this conversation, um, the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, that is the PURC, has announced an increase in electricity and water tariffs by 4.22%. Hmm. and 1.18 percent respectively for electricity and water it takes effect from the first of september hey. at this point what are you saying? Hey. Hey, hmm. at this point in time let's enjoy this music from don carlos don carlos singing seven days a week we'll be activating the phone lines shortly here we go enjoy the song right listen to the words listen to the words To be this way, working every day just for this little pay. Seven days a week, got to be upon my feet. Rain or shine, got to be out in the street. For so long, I've been working so hard. Nine to five just to keep my kids alive Freedom is a must I know No matter how they fuss and go Heaven know that it is my philosophy Oh John, hear me when I pray Help I and I to see a better day And guide us not into temptation. The valley is deep and yeah, deep. seven days a week you have to be up on your feet working for a little pay. And as a pay is also little, conditions under which people are living are so rough and so tough that putting body and soul together is not cheap, it's not easy at all. So let's hear from you now. What's your own story? All right. What's your own story? Whether you're a husband or you're a wife or you're a child to a parent, what's your own story? Let's hear from you. First of all, you can send us WhatsApp messages to 055 All right, record a voice note, send it in to us. Our WhatsApp number is 055 But um, you can call us now on 03220 8359 
Has your salary, uh, your job money been increased? Why do I keep saying salary? Has your job money been increased for you if you're, if you're a wife? How is your, the situation like for you when you go to the market? Are you able to buy the things you, you, you intend to, the things that you list out to buy for the home? Are you able to buy them? And um, when you go to the market, do you have to argue with the traders out there? What's your own story? What's your own you know, issues when you go out there? And of course, when it comes to your eating habits, has there been any change in it? Looking at the food inflation that is hovering around 54.2%. You can call us on 03220-83596. 03220-83597. And 03220-83598. Yes, I'm waiting. What do you need to say? Kofi, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Bruni. Now, 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 Oh, 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 millions of dollars one person has a, has no, a David, David, if you have billions of dollars and uh, before this time you were able to save, let's say you took 100 CDs to fill your, uh, your, your, your fridge with food items and today you are supposed to fill your fridge with food items, you have to take 1,000 CDs. Do you think that uh, 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 it is not affecting even a billionaire? Oh, so Kofi, maybe you didn't get what I meant, Kofi. Listen to me. I am saying that if you have millions in your room and a house help can steal without you noticing, won't it, won't it, won't it pay any bill? Uh, it, it, it will only happen to a politician. It will only happen to a politician. That is why, David, I disagree with uh, uh, those economists when they say that uh, uh, some uh, inflations are imported. Uh, for instance, when they talk of rice and other items that we buy from. If they are able to control the CD devaluation, go to Cote d'Ivoire for over 20 years. Things that they buy for one safer is still one safer. Why? Because their economy is good. They are managing the economy very well. This government boasts of having uh, all the intellectuals in the world, but they are not able to you know, manage the economy such that people will feel free. Is vying for president, and he told us that he was going to manage the economy such that the city will come back to the three cities that they inherited. And yes. now, what are we seeing? And he is not ashamed of himself, he's coming to uh, ask people to vote for him. We are waiting. Thank, hey, you, Kofi, thank you very much. Along the line, we we're told that they've arrested the city, haven't they? I don't know how, how come hey, the city jumped jump, jump bill. Catherine, good morning. Yeah, good morning, David. How are you? I'm well, though. Let's hear your story. I mean, inflation is food inflation is 54.2. Very, 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 very expensive. Let me tell you what. Not normally, if I send food to office, if I don't eat, I'll give it to the security. But nowadays, I send it back, put it in the fridge, take it tomorrow so that I'll be able to eat. I go to market. I always buy to the market to me because everything is expensive right now. Everything, everything is expensive. So please, the government should do something about. We are really, really suffering. We are really, really suffering. But, but Kathleen, have you explained to the security man why you don't give him the food anymore? What did you say? Have you explained to the security man why you don't give him the food anymore? Because what about the They know that everything is expensive. They mean that, ah, madam. Now we don't get the person. Hey, ma, bra, me the coffee, oh, me the coffee, because these are, things are very, very expensive. Hey, right, then, yeah, me, oh, Kathleen, yeah, thanks for yeah. passing through. Eh? Hmm. Zero three two two zero eight three five nine six eight three five nine seven eight three five nine eight. Let's hear you, George. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, my friend. How are you? I am well, though, but I want to hear your story. Food inflation fifty four point two. How is it affecting your pocket, David? It it is affecting me so much. David, stop calling these so called economists. Why they come and then they are talking about inflation? David, economically, we are living in. A banana island. Everybody is trying to, I mean, survive. You see, they, I, I told you I drink coffee. You know, that small coffee. Some are selling it one CD. Some are selling it one CD, 20 pesos. Some are selling it one CD, 50 pesos. Everybody is trying to survive. Do, do, do we have a leader? Do we have leaders who, I mean, are managing this economy? And now, I mean... Fuel or electricity is about to be increased. David, I have now increased my work as a security also. I told you I'm a guy in a formal, I was working only day. But looking at the economy, I've also looked for a security job. So 
Sometimes I don't even come home because if I have to stay outside till 5.30, I can't come home and change myself and, and then go. So from my garden, I just went straight to the security. This morning that I came, I'm preparing to go out again. So that's how we are fighting, David. So that man by the security man by night, that's how yes. George is surviving out there. And he's still complaining. Yes. He's still complaining, yeah. Two jobs, still complaining. Mm. I'll come there. I'll come there, Ryan. I'll come there. Hey, Christoph, good morning. Yeah, good morning, my brother, David Aquete. How are you, sir? <laughs> I am well, Christoph. All right, so let's hear your story. Yeah. David, good morning to my bosses, Nana, Semencia, CEO, SG Mall, and Mr. Alfred, Koto of PZ. Uh, God bless them, David. David, what is happening in Ghana? We should, we should be bold and talk about them. The hardship, the pain, I mean, the excruciating pain, you know, Food, food is no more a common, it's not a luxury. David, what happened to the, to plenty for food and jobs? We, this government has really, really trumpeted. What happened to food, uh, plenty for food and jobs? David, things are mocking things. Times are really, really, really hard. David, what are we doing? What are we telling this government? To make everybody is dead silent. Everybody is quiet about this government. You are not telling the government. As, that, so, Christoph, you, the question is, what is your story? When you go to the let market, me, is your wife complaining? What's your let story? Me, let me finish. David, look. Now, do you know that? David, now do you know that? You can't even buy tomatoes five feet. In my area, where I live, you need to buy, buy no less than 10 feet of tomatoes. David, where are you going? Fuel is even increased. Water is being increased. You see the uh, 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 light is being increased. David, there is nothing to cushion ordinary Ghanaians. David, there's nothing to suit our pain. David, there's no intervention for us. David, why don't you use this narco training uh, to go and farm, make farm, those in prison? They are, they, are, they are sleeping in their rooms and we are paying for them, we are paying them and we are giving them food. Let's use them on state farms. I rather keeping them in rooms where they have been fed. Things are really, really hard. We should talk we should tell this government that look, breaking the aid. You can't use this thing to break the aid. It should be difficult for you. Because Ghanaians are defending and we are ready to change the government next year. They, 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 they must do something. Things are really knocking things. David. Thank you. So so prisoners are fed one CD eighty pesos a day. One CD. <laughs> eighty pesos a day. Do you think they eat three times? Two times or one time a day. They use zone to read, zone to read. <laughs> <laughs> so, so leave the prisoners alone. Mamunju, I'm home as well. Ken is on the line. Hi, Ken. Good morning. Good morning, David. Come, Ken. So, what's your own story? Food inflation, fifty-four point two percent. How does it affect your pocket? I don't have any new story. My story is the old one, and then I believe the ordinary, ordinary Ghanaian also have the same old story. Nothing changes. So. For me, it's a warning that I want to give to our leaders, our polit the politicians. They are all the same. They should be careful because the wind is blowing. What is happening out there, Burkina, Niger, Mali, and other, uh, the other one, Guinea, the wind is coming down here. They should be careful. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, no, 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 no such wind will blow here. No such wind will blow here. I mean, let's speak, let's go to a boy. Say, someone is on the line. Hi, uh, Uncle Sammy. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, James. How are you doing? I'm well, Samuel. Good to have you, sir. Yeah. I. Uh, I'm going to continue to discuss. In fact, you, you don't know where to start from, but I just want to say one thing. In Manado and his people, I am an MPP, but I am highly disappointed. But that was not the only issue. What is happening today is that the next four, five years or ten years, a lot of diseases, hypertension, pressure. Ghana, we are going to spend a lot of money treating these diseases. You see, I was watching a woman this morning cooking rice for, for the public to buy. Public tomato paste, oil, and what they might be so we have a fresh and one or the chairman debate. We shall all sing the money for it. Don't even talk. It is your day. And then she tells me, say, Jeff, we will show you any money in the Diabo and Tiba. And no, people don't say they are in the end. Oh, so is there any word which is uh, stronger than disappointment? Oh, Ghanaians. Anyway, 
Thank you for the program. Well, thanks very much, Samuel. Someone is asking, is there any other word that is, you know, bigger than disappointment? Because he's so disappointed in this government. And what he talked about, the food that the woman is preparing, rice, there's no fresh tomato soup. Yeah. Tomato paste. Yeah. Oil and spices. Yeah. Do you know how the tomato paste is made? Yeah, with some flour, something. <laughs> 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 Malik, good morning and welcome. What's your own story, sir? The food that I used to buy, it used to be flat. Now it costs hundred percent increment. Assuming if I'm going to take this food for one month, I think then it will be nine nine hundred cities. Only for food that's for lunch. This, we are we are really suffering. Ghanaians are suffering. The economy is in deep broke. Actually, Dave. But should you be if the food is expensive? Try an alternative. Ah, uh, Dave. The food is even manageable because gobe, gobe, if you want to eat gobe and feel warm, okay, then you have, it, it will be around 20 cities. And how many times will you be able to eat gobe? How many times? Dave, when I take gobe for two days, I will visit Nature School so many times, so I don't like it that much. I hear you, Malik. Uh, 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 Baumia, Baumia. When I heard the name, I, 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 I don't know what. To say. When I heard the name Baumia, he talks too much. Hello. Well, so so he's economic economic man. So I attend the economic Maguire, like somebody will say. Yeah, will say. <laughs> um, I don't go say that. Uh, Kojo, good morning. Good morning, Dave. Yes, Kojo. Charlie, is your situation any better? Charlie, Dave. In fact, it was too much. Yesterday, I went to the market myself. Charlie, tomatoes, small, small tomatoes, three. Tell you this. David, I could forget his Baumia. In fact, the worst, the worst leaders in the history of this nation. David, it's okay. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Um, let's let, let's pick some one or two more calls, and then we will share a message from from WhatsApp with our listeners as well. Our conversation this morning it has to do with food inflation. It's at fifty four point two percent, and we're asking you how is it affecting your pocket? How how is, how is it impacting your life? If you're a wife, has your chop money been increased? If you go to the market, what's your story? What's the situation like for you there? If your husband is she complaining, Isaac is on the line. Two guys on the line. Let's start off with Isaac, and then we we'll talk to two guys, and then we we'll go on to the WhatsApp console. Isaac, good morning and welcome, sir. Good morning, David. So, I think, yeah, we're talking about well. food inflation, 54.2%. How is it affecting you? David, it's affecting us so much. David, they, they, you see, the problem is uh, those leading us, we've done something, uh, we've created a leader, and then um, something we call Article 71 of this world. They are not feeling what we are feeling. They are getting everything free. Anyway, the contracts, the contracts that they issue, they are presented in them. So how do you think these people will feel? They don't come in straight. They don't feel the pain that the normal Ghanaian, the non privileged is feeling. So that is the, 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 the being of our problem. Because ever since, elsewhere administration and this current one, even if we vote this current one out and bring in it, David, nothing is going to change if we don't start changing our laws and making things right. That is our problem. Thank you. I hear, I hear you, Isaac. Thank you very much. Our last caller is uh, in Tuga. Tuga, good morning and welcome, sir. Good morning, David. I hope you are doing well. I'm hanging in there, boss. Let's hear your story. Tuga, uh, um, uh, David, the situation is not easy at all. I used to buy bread, 10 cities for the um, family. Now we are buying bread, minimum of 24 cities or 30 cities. Now, so when we are eating bread, I frown my face. The extra is in front of me. The way I will frown my face, when I see you eating your bread fast, fast, you, 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 your eye catches my eye that I frown my face, you don't even ask for more. First, you are free to cut, that, uh, that you cannot cut extra bread, I say yes. Now, the, my face, the way I will frown my face, it will not give you the chance to even ask for more. And, and David, the salary I'm receiving, eh, 
it's not less than 3,000, but yes, sir, I'm feeling the pain. So how much more are brothers who are selling toffees and these things? So sometimes when I buy something at the market, if I look at the situation, if it is one series, two series, David, I don't collect it. I just give it to the person. The situation is, is, is very difficult. But, but, but the Tuga, I'm collecting, Tuga, I'm Tuga, Tuga forgive me. Change. Tuga, forgive yes. me, but if your kids are eating and they are not satisfied, they want more bread, you want the what? Yes. To, to Not to eat extra bread if they want more? No, we, we, we've sliced the bread to eat. We'll give you money for um, and My brother, Adam and Dad will be eating bread for tasting this just two days or a day. It's, 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 it's not easy. So, but you guys, the person tell if your child tells you that the mom may. You know that the amount of this is at least it's okay. You you will not die. Go and your lunch. You take your lunch in addition. You come back. You come and eat heavy one. Or every morning they like drinking tea. You give them heavy food. You know tea and the bread. Yesterday we went round at least went to get one that is a, a little bit cheaper. So sometimes we bake the bread ourselves. But they even the flour. You see, sometimes I go and buy the flour. Then I'll tell my wife, I'm baking you. But now, when I go, then I just turn. Now, she doesn't know how to tell me, oh, won't you go and buy the flour and bake bread? I also say, oh, we can't have uh, no money. You see, first I easily go, then just go and to the Ophelukum area, get to the machine, mix it, come and be by the time she comes. Hey, surprise. But now it's difficult. Tuga, thank you very much. I was when the extra bread, <laughs> that's a reality on the ground. Yeah, yeah. That's a real. It's sad, eh? Very, very, sad. Very sad. Very, very let's sad. go into our WhatsApp console and take a listen to what people are saying, you know, their own stories. Let's take, let, let's start with this one. Hi, David. Good morning. I to say, hey, my come on, Moody, there. I need you, Pao. Hey, I saw my now, uh, you can think you're caught. I mean, I'm here, consulting me call that commissary conquer day. Now, only me qua. Me talk, uh, can four cities, or canoe, four cities are my jib beans, my jim kuma, baby. Number the coswa, me the sewer, me could this year, me could say, boy, you ma bear one. Send me di, send me by ya, me be free ya. Man, did you cry, my dear, met mother? Umpe, umpe, get in kitty problem, you are a brabo mo. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> you please. Hey, David, good morning. Um, <laughs> What we are discussing this morning is, is something. Uh, we are really feeling the heat. I can't remember some few months back, uh, the normal job bar, you know, places. When you go, you can use 20 Ghana cities, get your fufu and get your some nice fish on it. And you eat and have your food. But yes, uh, economic hardship. Difficult ones, of course. And now, if you want to go and eat this normal chop bar you see around, David, we are tempted to uh, uh, reduce the size of the fufu you will buy. Because if you are not careful, you spend like 50 to 60 cities before you can get your food. So if you really want to get food, unless you spend 50 to 60 Ghana cities for this normal chop bar uh, fufu you will be eating, you know, Charlie, uh, go to the shops. Uh, I don't want to mention this, but if you go to some of these popular uh, 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 shops, Charlie, who did no one answer at all? Who did no one answer at all? Because the prices, the price tag on those items, Charlie, 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 David, it's not easy. I used to buy a, 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 um, a pack of um, this thing, I don't make that 24 uh, pieces, less than 100 cities, and now half is almost 100 cities. Half is almost 100 cities. And David, it's not easy. It's not easy. Cry. You see, the in I cut it down. Everything. Oh, who did you cry now? Sometimes I have to go and buy kinky. Kinky cry. Five CD. Kitty, kitty. God have mercy on us. I will, I will say an amen to that. And I'm sure that people who are listening and are not able to afford milk, if they hear you say, before you used to buy milk, now you buy half milk, which of, clo of course is close to hundreds of this. The sugar wouldn't just kind of order milk. <laughs> Let's listen to this woman, please. Good morning, David. Ubu sasa dien chop money. Share chop money. Kwa wewe two years ni yen two muda. Beye two years ni yen two muda. Ukuduma uhundi yawanto. Bosi ujina fako. Uyelis nukura unti minye. Na ubu sasa eating eating habits asasa. Enra edume misi me kwa ndo fufu. Bantama fufu kiti 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 bi. 
25 cities. And I mean, we say a guy and say, hey, what to me boat and or see there be? I'm pa. Obi so ko turn it the way, kiti 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 bi. Enam kra de men ko ho, enam de ko ho. Hey, uh, inflation fifty four point two. Ye ko ya na ye buy, boy. Ye be wu papa. Eni eni ye kunu numu so. Just omu no mu kujum. They said you be kaz e ye e ma e magicians na. Ye ye more than magicians. Ye ye super human beings. Hey, anyway, nyami ne e ye ye bo afu nti. <laughs> we hear you. And it's food inflation that is um, at 54.2%. All right, that's food inflation alone. Uh, general inflation is around 42 point something percent. Uh, let's take a listen to this other sound. Good morning. My name is Nancy. Yes, with the housekeeping money or job money, mine has been increased. But with the increment, even when you go to market, you can't buy anything. Seriously, first you can go and shop and come and put down. Now there you can't do like that. You can imagine a roll of salary like the ten pieces. It used to be fifteen cities. Now it's fifty cities. And all those things are part of the job money. So it's not easy at all. I remember I put to bed and then my husband went to the market to shop. When he came back he was complaining. That the man he said it's finished and he has not even seen what he bought and i said thank god so he has increased increased it and with the increment when it finished when i talk he will even complain if he has there he will give it to me so it's really affecting us and it's affecting our men too thank you yeah thank you very much for listening and thank you very much for sending in your voice notes uh time is running out on us but we're going to play at least three and a few more messages and then we'll be calling it a day here this morning so here we go hello good morning dave hmm. it's very hard it's very hard nowadays seriously i'm supposed to go to i'm going to a funeral in accra but how to get the transport to that place to is a problem you know work nowadays our materials i'm a stillbender the materials for the work is very high so the work is not flowing it's not even there so how to get money to go to Fura in Accra to is a problem so Charlie we are suffering we are suffering really suffering Charlie, well if you can go to Accra for the funeral why don't you stay behind send a message to your friend or whoever funeral you have to attend explain matters and then send your donation no what was the transport no take a listen to this Hello, Dave. Good morning. Charlie, I do have the ICU. Oh, the ICU, you know. Hey, you serious? Oh, all right. Sometimes, me myself, I have to park my car and join Trotro. Trotro now, oh, for the car and the master. Just a easy. See, even if my kids go near my coins, the way I scream, me boom to say, hey, they have one billion in the era. And why are you tired? When my kids are going to school every day, the amount of money, now I've stopped buying them certain things. Because, in fact, yes, sir, a compound, Dave, I remember I am. Again, I'll say an amen. I'll say an amen to that. Uh, let's, let's play one more voice note and then that'll be it. Good morning, David. Hmm. Increment, uh, once in panel cancer. I swear. She say, Oko Joma, you mama, I didn't, didn't, didn't. Me kwa kwa lami ensa, kwa lami ensa. And every day, omo di ani di, omo school muko. She say, Oko Joma, want me into her. A day, me to miss spend more than hundred cedis. So, so you can imagine, say, be a ubema, omo a oyere ni kwa laska. In fact, say be one week, two hundred cedis. I don't know the bay. In the Madden, I'm cooking with shrine, I'm saying, Yeah, to me, yeah, magic, I shrine you, maybe. Now, yes, I didn't come, I'm through in a bit or two. I swear, come through better to papa. Leo, 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 but Charlie, let's let's try and and not do anything crazy or silly. You know, last week we talked about people who uh, have tried to take their lives and all that. I know it's not easy. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep praying. Keep working hard. 
and uh, hopefully things will turn out good for all of us. Meanwhile, what is your preferred color of tank? Is this uh, I mean, is it red or green or black? Whichever color you, you, you want, Syntex has it. What guarantee do you want? Well, Syntex has it. And what kind of inner layer do you want? Well, are you looking for double, triple, quadruple? As many inner layers as you want, Syntex has it too. So please remember, no matter what your water needs, uh, Syntex has it. Now, Syntex tank is strong, is tough, and they have over 300 agents nationwide. And to order a tank, please call 0244-335168. Visit Syntex on social media at Syntex Ghana, or you can shop online on www.syntexgh.com. Syntex tank is strong, is tough. Well, in a bit on the Super Morning Show, the conversation is going to be on mindset changes for the Ghanaian. Mindset changes for the Ghanaian. And uh, the guest will be Akosia Bame. She'll be on the show. Well, wake up to new taste of Big O Cola. Nothing comes close to Big O Cola. A drink of joy, both cold and street. Big O Drink is a range of soft drinks developed, bottled, and distributed in Ghana by Trillium Industrial Ghana. Big O Cola drink offers a great taste and superior value to consumers. Now, for your parties, weddings, funerals, and all occasions, reach out for Big O drinks now for the school children i bet you that is their drink of choice so anytime you want to you want a drink to quench your te- your thirst reach out for big o cola and feel the taste of nature for bulk purchases call 03221-90877 that is 03221-90877 it's a quality product from trillium industries limited well at this point in time we'll be getting ready to cross over to join 99.7 but before we do we've got some messages for you Hey, are you worried about your parties, weddings, hangouts, on what drink to enjoy for the celebration? Or you're worried about how to celebrate your friends and family during that special occasion? Bigo, Bigo. <laughs> now, now that is Bigo. Bigo. With Bigo, no wahala for the occasion. They made it for everyone to enjoy and have the ideal celebration. Bigo, the soft drinks that comes in 16 and 20 in a pack. Hey, Charlie, that is Bigo. <laughs> a lot to go around in very Pack is refreshing and good quality. Now that is big O. Ah, the taste is big Another quality product from Twilliam Industries Limited. This advert is FDA approved. Big O, big O. I've got no back and I won't let go. My name is Nana Mamek Brown. Many people think I get what I want anytime because I am popular. <laughs> no, that is not true. It is because me and Kasano, I like the best. And when I find it, I stick to it. I have found Bell Pack Tea Roll and I'm stuck with it. It is soft but not weak, strong but not hard. It is just perfect. Bell Pack Tea Roll is smooth and gentle on the skin. Same as Bell Pack Kitchen Towel. It cleans in one wipe. You can soak, squeeze, and clean again. One Bell Packaging Towel will last longer and saves you money. It's time you switch to Bell Pack today and experience the perfect paper tissue. Say your pocket tissue, table napkins, tea roll, and a kitchen towel. Bell Pack is simply the best. Bell Pack just perfect. To be a Bell Pack distributor, call 055-114-4400. Another quality product from Bell Aqua. You provide the fire. Daily focus on your superstation, Love 99.5 FM, is giving you an opportunity to start your day right with anointed men of God. Tune in daily at 5.15 a.m. and be blessed. Be edified with Joel Osteen on Monday. Just because it seems like God is too late doesn't mean that he's not going to come through. Don't be impatient for him to act. Keep believing, keep praying, and every blessing that belongs to you will show up. Receive the word with Reverend Eric A.J. Bediako of New Life City Chapel, Walk Room, every Tuesday. Anytime the Holy Ghost comes to dwell in your heart, He produces His nature in you. And so you that some time ago you were whatever, you begin to have desires for holy things in your life. On Wednesday, make a date with His word, His power, and His presence with Reverend Victor Ose, General Overseer of Family Chapel International. One thing you should never allow in your life is for people to take you for granted. Go where you are celebrated and not where you are simply tolerated. 
Live a relevant life every Thursday with Reverend David Seth Kwanza, head pastor of Mid Country Chapel, Amoko. No matter what chances you have lost, opportunities you have lost, God is able to restore them. Who is this God that can cause something to come out of Nazareth? And on Friday, Reverend Simon Ampofo of Grace Fields Chapel comes your way with words. 8.33, time flies. Uh, yeah, But uh, finally, 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 the conversation we've all been looking forward to is here. Our guest this morning is somebody who enthralled us all with her contributions to the panel discussion on the day um, that we heard from Yao Nsako uh, with his seminal address. Now, I, I can't get out of my mind this seed that was sown by Akosia Bame, renowned author, uh, when she talked about mindset revolution. So I thought it was important to bring uh, you know, her to join us in the morning and talk about this and expand on it. What exactly is it about our mindset that requires revolution, right? What is, I mean, uh, clearly it means there's something wrong with the way we think. So today I'm hoping, Akosia Bame, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm hoping that you'll be able to help us understand what is wrong with the way we think. We have a slavery mindset. And by that I mean um, in a slavery relationship, there's a master and there's a slave. Our leaders are holding the master mindset, the slave master's mindset. Mm. And the citizens are essentially operating as slaves. Wow. And that's really the, the nub of the issue. It manifests in different ways, but that's the nub of the issue. I can't wait to hear you break that down. And listen, you need to have an open mind this morning, okay? Because a lot of the things we're going to hear might not sound good to us, but they will apply to us. You know, and we have to have that uh, receiving spirit to accept it if we're going to have a mindset revolution. That's all to come. But first, open the door into your dream house. There's no feeling quite like returning home after a busy day at work. Uh, you know, that feeling you get when you turn the key in the lock, open the door and walk into your own little piece of paradise. Well, with a mortgage from ABSA, you get to enjoy that feeling over and over again in your own house. If you're a salaried worker, you can borrow up to 5 million Ghana cities at fixed or variable interest rates and pay back your loan over a period of 20 years. Discover how to get things done at absa.com.gh. That's Africanacity. That's APSA. Terms and conditions apply. So we talk about water all the time. In fact, life without water is impossible. But what do you really know about the water you consume? Well, with Verna Purified Water, you're not only guaranteed the pleasure of satisfying your thirst, but you're assured of water that is purified using a series of filtration, reverse osmosis, UV sterilization, and ozonation to meet the standard quality your body needs. With over 100,000 bottles consumed daily, Verna Purified Water has gained acceptance as the number one water brand in Ghana today. Now, with every bottle of Verna Water you consume, you directly contribute to impacting lives through the Verna Changing Lives Initiative. From its orphanage project to drilling of boreholes, surgery payments, and payment of fees for brilliant but needy students, Verna Purified Water continues to support many beneficiaries each year to change their lives for the better. Share the love, get a bottle of Verna Purified Water, and enjoy the pure, refreshing taste. Verna Purified Water is recommended by the Ghana Medical Association. Verna Purified Water, changing people's lives. This is approved by the FDA. You know, it's all of the Premier League, all on DSTV. Catch all the goals, moments, clashes, derbies, and drama. Make sure to stay tuned to all of Rashford, Haaland, and Saka. Watch it all unfold live in HD with the option of the exciting commentary in Chi. All of this on the package of your choice. No one else offers all of the Premier League, but DSTV. Get your DSTV decoder with one month compact subscription for 299 Ghana cities and add a satellite dish for 100 Ghana cities or stay connected on star 759 hash to enjoy it all. DSTV, it's your moment. So I've got some good news to share with you today. Imagine a biscuit made from real cereal packed with wholesome oats and grains containing less sugar. Well, this biscuit is not only for a treat, but for your taste buds, but also for a nutritious option for all ages. I'm talking about Macberry breakfast cereal. And the Macberry breakfast cereal biscuit can be enjoyed at any time of the day, particularly at breakfast, with any beverage of your choice. It's delicious, nutritious, 
and affordable. It's made with whole grains, oats packed with fiber, and real cereals with less sugar. So worry no more with Macberry Breakfast Cereal. Your kids have the perfect snack they can take to school. Beware of imitation. Remember to go for the original Macberry Breakfast Cereal Biscuit and start your day with a smile. Macberry Breakfast Cereal, good Nest for your morning. All right, shall we get to it? Yes, let's get into the mindset. Then. Okay, then. Now, uh, if you're a Ghanaian, chances are there's something wrong with the way you think. Yeah. But what could that be? And how are you supposed to think? Well, if you've tuned in to this show from wherever you are in the world, then uh, you've just given yourself the best chance of a mindset revolution because the woman who wrote the book on the subject, literally, is our guest this morning, Akusi Abame. Thanks again for making the time to be with us. Thank you, Kujo. Okay, so now we've said the word several times. Mindset revolution. Two words put together to represent a concept. What is that concept? Okay, so I'll break it down. Mm -hmm. Um, In terms of mindset... Mindset is a a framework through which we think. And that framework is really driven by our value system, our prejudices, our assumptions, our beliefs. So, and it's not necessarily operating at a conscious level. It's at a very subconscious and unconscious level. It's ingrained. That's why it's called mindset. And it's not about mind. You can change your mind anytime. Mm -hmm. But changing your mindset requires deep, a deep, deep, deep assessment of Mm -hmm. your belief and value system. Mm -hmm. So that's how you think. It it governs how you think and then drives the decisions you make. Mm 